Welcome to part three of Becoming a Weight Loss Helper, the facilitator's role. Facilitation means to make easier. So your job as a group facilitator is to make it easy for your participants to interact, connect, engage, and to navigate the potentially rough group dynamic waters. Your job as a facilitator is not to talk endlessly, to lecture or teach, but to keep the group conversation going. Some things to avoid are setting yourself up as the expert, doing all of the talking, starting or finishing late or early, answering all of the questions, excessive tangents, participant side conversations, or letting one member dominate. Facilitation is a skill that is developed over time. With practice, you will be able to keep participants on track while allowing for individual participation. Time is precious to you and to your group members. Starting and ending your group sessions on time will help you to consistently maintain your group participation. Provide your participants time for arrivals and a few minutes of mingling. For example, you might say, you can arrive between 5.45 and 6 o'clock, and we'll start right at 6. When it's time to start, you might have to round participants up by saying, we're going to get started in just a minute. Please go ahead and find a seat. Don't be worried about interrupting the small talk in order to begin on time. Close the group according to the schedule so that those who want to leave can. Those who want to stay and chat probably will do so without prompting. If you like, you can say something like, if you want to stay for a few minutes to chat, please do so. But we must wrap up by 8 o'clock. You may also want to build in socialization time into the regular schedule. One of the greatest benefits of a small group is the opportunity to form connections and for each member to gain a network of support. Support is essential to successful, permanent weight loss. Think of the group as a gathering of friends or a sharing time rather than a classroom teaching time. Use existing connections to make more. Identify things people have in common and point them out at an appropriate time. Allow time for discussion. Encourage, but don't force everyone to share. Ask open-ended questions. A great way to encourage connections is through the use of icebreakers. Icebreakers are games, questions, or other group activities that warm up participants for discussion. When dealing with a sensitive topic such as weight loss, group participants are going to want to feel safe and connected. Icebreakers are a relatively neutral way to get people talking. They help people overcome that awkward, I don't know anyone and I'm not sure what to talk about stage. You can do an icebreaker to kick off your first meeting or every meeting depending on your style and the group's level of connectedness. You can use your own icebreakers or try some of these. You can ask questions such as, if you could have a lifetime supply of any food, what would it be? If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Which is your favorite season and why? What has been your greatest accomplishment so far? You could also try a game or activity. Get to know bingo, guess who, two truths and a lie. You can do an internet search on team building activities or icebreakers to find out some more great ideas. So that's the end of part three. Please move on to part four, handling difficult situations.